Nine days till Christmas, 16 days to New Year's, and 18 days until the Cotton Bowl. The Missouri Football Tigers have one more game to play January 3rd in Dallas. Gary Pinkle and the Tigers back to work today, practicing inside the Divine Pavilion. Mizzou will take on an old Big 12 rival, Oklahoma State, in the Cotton Bowl. Both teams are coming off disappointing conference championship losses, OSU losing to OU, the Tigers to Auburn. So no BCS bowl games for either, but a lot better than last year for Missouri. The Tigers are practicing for a bowl game. It was good to be back out here. We all had lingering things we needed to work out. You know, some were physical, some were emotional, and we got to come out here and do that, so it was good. It's just good to be back out here. Been here in the past, clacking again, and just running around and having fun with your friends again. We'll get a lot of real good work with our young players, but yet we'll work on the game planning, and then we'll get a full, full two weeks practices in preparation for uh, for the game, so I, I feel real good about that. The Tigers will practice six times in Columbia before leaving for a short Christmas break next Monday, then head to Dallas on Friday the 27th, one week before the Cotton Bowl. The Mizzou basketball Tigers are off to a perfect 10-0 start, moving up a spot in the AP poll today, up to number 23, coming off a win over Western Michigan last night. Next up, the Bragg and Rights game in Illinois against St. Louis in Illinois, I should say, against the Illini in St. Louis on Saturday. Tiger women returning to the home court tonight at Mizzou Arena, hosting Belmont. Leanna Doty drives left side. And Doty later on the break to Jordan Frerichs, the freshman with a double-double, had 14 points and 15 rebounds. But the visiting Bruins from Belmont would not go away. This game was tied 37-all at the half. Tigers trailed it midway through the second half. Bree Coolis, big night. She poured in 27 for the Tigers. Tiger men's leading scorer Jordan Clarkson on hand watching this. Coolis, 10 of 18 shooting, leading Missouri to an 82-70 win. It did not come easy. The Tiger women, though, are 10 and 1 on the season. High school basketball homecoming in St. Elizabeth tonight. Here is the queen, Megan Kemna. St. Elizabeth in the home white. Brian Wilde moves on the baseline, lays it in. Three-point play. Patrick Shirley would answer for Russellville with a three-point shot. The hometown Hornets led by nine at the half, but Russellville came up with a big second half holding St. E to just 13 after halftime. Levi Anderson scored 19 as Russellville. The Indians win it 47 to 42. High school hoops in Eldon. Fred Norman, the new head coach of the Mustangs. Eldon battling Boonville. Visiting Pirates. Look at that. Tavius Brazil finishing with the slam. A 6-5 sophomore. Always good to see the KS95 team there. Mike Bissell, Matt Sharp. Three-pointer from the side for Chris Holsey from Eldon. Final seconds first half. Watch this. Alec Vertel lays it in, puts Boonville up by six. Then the inbounds to Holsey. Let's it fly from three quarters. Courtney made it. Swish. Eldon goes on to win it. 83 77. Holsey with 32, including that long three. Bell over Calvary. 58 to 30 in boys basketball over on the girls' side. Blair Oaks wins over Russellville to go 5 and 1. Leanne Pelovi with 26. Hickman beats Rolla 69 to 29. It was New Bloomfield over Louisiana. North Callaway moves to 6-1, beating Clopton. St. James a winner, Bell over Calvary. Boonville is now 7-1, beating Marshall. Mexico wins in overtime. Fatima is 3-1. They beat Osage, and Helias beat Battle 40-29. Each Monday night during the winter season, we highlight the high school basketball play of the week, brought to you by our friends at Central Methodist University, home of the Screaming Eagles. Shot of the year so far from tonight's Eldon game. Chris Halsey, you saw it. Yes, see it again. Long three, our Central Methodist University play of the week. It'll be hard to top that one. The high school football season is over. Now a chance for you to vote on the play of the season. Go to our sports page at connectmidmissouri.com. 15 plays to choose from, a lot to watch. All of these plays were voted on by our viewers in our Wall Street Group play of the week feature this past season. 